for these fights. Well, on the other hand, the latter half probably wouldn't be enough. You see RSG locking in the Rafaela and as well as the Terizla. So a lot of engaged potential coming in from RSG, especially having the Astral Echo is going to make it so much easier, right? The Terizla uh, penalty zone as well as the uh, Rafaela all they can indeed hit on everyone, especially because Eve is a very stationary target. It's not difficult for RSG to engage on this one. Yeah. So this time, RSG can be the aggressors. You know, even though I feel like Team Ha has like the quote-unquote meta-ish draft, based on what I'm seeing here, I actually kind of like RSG's draft a little bit more. Did Rafaela really change your mind there? Or was that the one pick that made it all different? Oh, wow. okay, wait. Fanny. Uh, uh, now I'm having second thoughts. Rakran, <laughs> Rakran, <laughs> this man back down so quick, gun to his head. Which composition are you guys liking more, boys? Oh my god, Janice Fanny, we forgotten about it for so long. Hey, it's been a while. It has been a while. I think both pops definitely have their ups and downs. I'm a little undecided on this. I think both have their strengths. Assassins haven't been doing well. But it's I'm, Janice I'm, Assassin. Still. <laughs> I feel like if Janice <laughs> does not get a win here, it solidifies it. Yep, yep, it definitely will. Uh, how does Fanny get ahead? I, I'm trying to figure it out, right? I think Fanny gets ahead by looking for some of the squishier targets, obviously. But in Rafaela, might be a little bit tough because she's going to be sticking around mid or maybe even gold side. But it's time. Let's jump right into this game here. Match. Uh, game match number two, game number three. The current score tied up one to one between Hawk as well as RSGMY as we load into the land of dawn. Well, well, well. Let's see how this duke it out here because both drafts seem to uh, have they have their own individual win conditions. And so far, I am liking both sides. And because of this fatty pick here, I don't know. Do I like RSGMY's draft now? I like the idea, but with the fanny, seems a little bit hard now to pull this off. Well, I mean, this is... Uh, unfortunately, we can't get the supports in the mix here. Because that just means it's purely an assassin versus tank uh, tank matchup, right? These invades are going to be very lonely for Janice. I don't think he's going to have like a lot of people to help him out, considering that both side lanes are going to get shoved in by Terizla as well as the Roger. I feel like if any draft, this is a draft that Fanny can shine. You can yeah. go to the gold lane, you can go to the mid, and you can do relatively well. Especially because the first two minutes, the Boxia's uh, original power spike is not going to be there just because you can't really invade against Fanny. Like the moment you get, the moment you invade, the Fanny can catch up to you, and the Fanny can do a lot of damage. So this is a little bit awkward coming in from RGMY, but I feel like they can against sustain it. Well, Flicker stun comes in. Iris also oh, connecting as well. Repo taking a little bit too oh. much damage. One HP, but no go. Looking for the counterplay. Forces a retry. Noir might actually fall eventually. First blood in the hands of Izanami for RSGMY. Where's the Fanny? I don't see him. Uh, Fanny, nowhere to be found. Okay. I had to recall, had to recall. Nothing to take for the time being, but at the very least, they were still able, well, at least for RSGMY, they're still able to find one. For the most part, Team Hawk have to be a little bit more careful finding these engages. They need to move as a team. Only else it's Saken going back and forth again, both not finding enough to create an advantage in lane. I would say in the gold lane, at least for today, is going to be a stalemate, mm. where both are definitely trading, but not enough for anyone to go all in. And I feel like it's good, because both gold laners are showing adequate respect to each other, while still trying to be a little bit disrespect uh, disrespectful. Oh, now Astro Echo already revealing Noir and Maima. Do they want to commit to this? Black Dragon comes in, real one relations as well. No go go. Secures it. Now here comes the spear. Does the Moscow want to join? Repo gets the trade on towards Noir. Janus also with the Fanny get completely shut down. Iris is somehow able to fight for the team. They trade two for two, but seems like it was a very scuffed fight from both sides. That could have been so much better for Team Hawk when Janice got caught mid cable by the penalty zone, locking him in place and unable to land another cable to get on out of there as he gets continuously pulled back by these chains. That's got to be frustrating for the side of Team Hawk. That could have been like a, a game changing fight for Janice. But that does show what. Okay, that basically shows that this Fanny, even though quote unquote there's no catch moment, uh, catching abilities coming in from RGMY. The Fanny can't fly around freely. Mm -hmm. 
there's a chance that Ripple can catch him. And I kind of feel like there's a chance that even Vinogo can catch him. Just wait until Storm catches him, like, mid-cable oh. <laughs> with the Holy Baptist. The Holy Baptist. Though. That'd wow. be crazy if we could time that. But I think for the most part, yeah, it does go to show how thick this wall actually is, even though it doesn't have the natural barb wires, but it's got some kind of fencing. Janus has to be careful every time he, he hops over it. Hopefully he doesn't get scratched or, worse yet, end up dead. <laughs> Well, speaking of Witcher, I was a little bit skeptical of this, but as of now, RGMY, you, you have to give props to us repo, though. Like, that penalty zone catch, not an easy thing to do, but again, mistakes sometimes were made, and it comes down to Team Hawk on how they want to play around the mistake and make a comeback out of this. 24, se uh, 24 more seconds until we get to actually see that happen. Ooh. Oh, okay, very greedy. Here comes the cable. They're waiting for the snipe. Janus gets them down to the very, very low. But they needed a finisher. Team Hawk now showing strong why Janus is so disgustingly good on this fanny. But yep. Janus is running out of time. If they get the Blood Wings, it's going to be a little bit difficult for the fanny to get a kill. Or if they don't want to go for the Blood Wings, just build a, uh, a Dreadnought armor. Yeah. That should be more than enough here. This Lord Dance going to be non existent. We'll see whether Janus can steal this away. Oh, coming in as well. Vinogo gets the Retribution fight. Black Dragon comes in to solve the back lines. Robo Elimination from Maima. Doing a lot of work trying to slow down Vinogo. They will trade one, but Janus, what are you doing? He's going for the Petra from Iris to save the day. He goes for the Wall Spam, but Repo once again catches the Fanny, turns the tides. As RSGMY, they trade three for two. As RSGMY, they win the turtle trade and they still win the fight. Okay, now I see it. If the Fanny gets caught by the Astral Echo, you, you can't run away. You can't run away? Yeah, because Vinogo, uh, I saw the... She was trying to cable out, got stopped by Vinogo, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. he, he got the stun off and then tried to run again, and then Ripo hit with the penalty zone. If that keeps on happening, Janus should stop trying to fight with the neutral objectives because once, once he gets caught by the uh, Astral Echo, He's gonna get caught, period. Uh, it looks like his job just got even harder with a new interaction to, uh, to keep in mind for these next fights. But RSG, after that cleanup from Ripple, they're not gonna make this purple buff easy pickings. Well, Astro Echo comes in. Janus still trying oh, to go for the bait, but Nogo trying to hold him off and look at him. And are these not? What? How? He catches three. They find one to get the purple buff as well. No, actually, they secured it for Janus. But still, losing a life for this year, they need more out of Janus for this fight. RGMY will be taking the tier one in the middle, and they will get it as well. Team Hawk seems like they may have got the early first game now, getting shoved back in, and RGMY looking for the comeback. Nope, no purple ball for Janus. Looks like Ripple was able to secure it before Janus did. Janus does at least have his orange buff on that top side to be able to be claimed as his own. But for the most part, whew. Damage has been taken, and now 1.8k lead for the side of RSGMY. We're getting a bit of a turnaround. Last time, it was we expected Team Hawk to be dominating early, but now, different story. I mean, just dodge the Astral Echoes. <laughs> I mean, we saw that that insane penalty zone. Mm -hmm. But we, we got to think about Ripple's POV. That's probably one of the easier things that he could do. Oh, speaking of fights here, Astro Echo comes in. Holy Baptist as well catches on Noir. They get the steal on the turtle. Black Dragon coming in to try to save Noir's life. They will lose one, but the penalty zone for Repo. Catches Maima, purifies out of there. Iris trying to make something work as well. Leos going for the shove. But fortunately for them, they are able to salvage the situation, only losing one. But while this is all happening here, bottom lane, Sake got a, a free lane. Shoves the tier one down bottom as well for Team Hawk. He's just trying to find any gold on the map for himself, right? There's not a lot. There's not too many places they can actually farm freely. So I think it's the smart idea from Socket. Oh, he here he comes. Socket win. He came up. He's gonna force a fight. Well, real manipulation here. Forces on the slow here, but Socket is taking too much. He needs to get out. Can they get out though? They're so slow. The Astro Echo comes in, but RGMY, they back out. They don't want to commit at all. Oh, the snipes. Noir. Oh. Ooh, so close. So close. I mean, it really just goes to show the damage difference right now between RSG, MY, and Team Hawk. Team Hawk in no position just yet. Not enough of a snowball to get them going. Not enough gas in the tank. Let's look at the gold difference as well. And it looks like between Socket and Lolios, they're honestly not too far apart. Yeah, the only real difference here is in the EXP lane where Ripple has 5,000 and, and Iris is trying to get up to four. Janice Janus. goes up against Lolio. 
didn't get the Lycan Pounce off in time. I'm not even sure whether the Lycan Pounce would kill him there. I don't think so. You'd probably be left with like 1 HP or 2% of his HP. For the most part, at least it just tells Janus, this, here's a line in the sand, do not cross it. Yeah, but uh, again, I, I don't think the Lycan Pounce would kill. If he had a Blade of Despair, maybe debatable, but I don't think you go Blade of Despair on Roger anymore. Uh, depends on the build. Depends on the build you're going for. Okay, Echo. Holy Baptism. We think the mark, but somehow Sakan takes a lot of damage here just from one first kill coming from Izanami. So Sakan, he needs to be a little bit mindful here on where the position of Izanami because I'm pretty sure Izanami is looking to try to take him down low for Lolios to kind of finish him off. What is this lane setup? They went down to bottom side, realized that... The Hold on. Sakan should live this. Yeah. AI winning prediction is going over to Team Hot. That's very interesting. Huh. Yeah, I. Hmm. Well, not only that, right? Just the the weird setup from RSG and Y. The way that the, the fact that they didn't recognize that bot side was already a slow pushing lane. Yep, RSG and Y going. Oh my what? god! Sakin how goes in for the steer. It's forced the fight. They lose the war, but Jan is now going for the collapse. RSG and Y seems like they're trying to hold on. Iris. Almost losing his life, but here comes the snipe. Nice sidestep from Iris to dodge the bullet, but what a catch from Saken. What I'll, a catch. I would give props to Noir. He knocked up everyone. He did knock up everyone. Vinogo could not get he the retry not. off. He still has his retry. That's that's how long the knockup was. I can't believe that he got that away needs with a replay. That. <laughs> that needs a replay. And can we also get the AI winning prediction while we're? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, that AI winning prediction kind of saw the future. It. It, saw the future. <laughs> it does. It's doing its job, and this is so far like Sakin is in a pretty good spot. I think he's about to get the Trinity build all all the way complete. I'm pretty sure that he already has it, but uh, now all the outer tier turrets are falling. Oh, now Astro Echo comes in, but not gonna scout anyone here. I Janus looking for a couple of picks, trying to bait out the penalty zone. But Lolios now having the purple buff up on him, so that's a little bit of a interesting here. But tier one will fall for Team Hawk. Hey, sorry, uh, RGMI will lose a tier one out middle. And Team Hawk gonna continue to assault. Lord crashing on the bottom side now. I don't know, what's the game plan for RGMI? I think at this point, their game plan is just to respond. Respond to how Team Hawk want to move across the map. Because at this point, so far, all their engagements have been on isolated targets like Noir. But as soon as they get that Ooh. alt off, right, they can just focus on the poking. Yep, now speaking of poking here, Black Dragon, Iris, two man petrify. Sakan looking for the fight. He comes in, it brings Lolio back with him, but the penalty zone catch by Ripple takes him out, out down. Janus also falling. With uh, the mistakes coming in for Team Hawk, what a catch from Repo. The snipes almost connecting. They lose three. RSGMY has got the perfect wombo combo right now. Well, Gideon, you called it. Just respond to what Team Hawk wants to do. And that response was crazy good. And now Maima trying to protect the base. Izanami trying to dish out as much damage as he can. This is a, a mid 1v1, and I was just there. It's like, hey guys, I'm still here. Guys, I'm alive. <laughs> guys, please don't leave me. I, oh, man. Let's look at the in-game equipment. Maybe we can get a better idea of where they're currently at. Three items to three for both goal laners. Supports currently at one and a half each. Actually, two in favor of Storm. But then again, he has a cheaper item to purchase. Finally, in mid laners, two for two in terms of full items. Ah, overall, nothing to, uh, nothing notable yet, other than Rippo just being significantly ahead, full tank build. Oh yeah, significantly ahead, and and the thing is, Team Hawk, they made some micro mistakes in the in the previous fight. Namely, Janus didn't hit the steel cable, uh, making it so that he couldn't run away and gets bursted down. But now we see that Rippo is full tank item, but when he hits that penalty zone. It hurts a lot, much more than you would you would expect. You're not gonna lie, he's seven one and five on this uh, ter tank Tarisla, By the way, it's crazy. He's been hitting up so many shots and uh, seeing how this is happening here. Once again, Noir baits out the primal Raph. Janus looking for the flag, but he needs to know where Ripo is. And uh, so far, Ripo throwing himself up top means that they have the confidence to push up forward. And Ripo. This might be in trouble here, Saken. Oh, okay. He, he, he didn't flicker forward. Hey, man. To I feel like at this wall. point, Saken should be afraid of Ripple. Yeah, Saken <laughs> was the one freaking out here. He's just like, okay. <laughs> oh, my God, like, oh, my God, oh, my God. Like, does he know or does I, he not know? I'd rather not like, risk it. I, I thought he was going to make an attempt. 
you know? Ah, no. I think he would die. He's too tanky. Ripple is way too tanky for Sokka and to I do something Ripple like that. And I think Ripple has a blade armor? He does. Right? He does. He's gonna actually, <laughs> he's gonna end up killing himself. Now, Maima, he flickers out of there for the time being, but keep in mind that Loliels is opting to go for the Trinity build, and so the on hit is very effective. Wow, he even goes for a GDS as well. Huh. Hey, no one ever said, hey, yo, bro, that's too much movement speed. Well, no such thing as too much movement speed. Considering the amount of running he has been doing here, it makes a lot of sense. He needs the GDS, but the Lord now. Uh, it's going to be down to his half HP. Reaper holding in the recall. He's going to be TPing back here trying to shove up the lane up top. So Team Hawk might be able to take this opportunity to go in for the fight. But at the same time, Saken needs to hit the biggest spear of his career. I don't take his own time. I don't, I don't think it's happening for the time being. Saken, usually he throws that spear when he knows something is about to happen. And Team Hawk, we need to see their enablers. People like Iris, Noir, maybe even Maima, but mainly Noir is the one you want to keep your eyes on if you're if you're wondering whether or not they're going to fight. Oh, oh. They have got to make a play here. Take your time, Lulios. Take your time. Find the moment. Spear comes oh, in. They find Storm. They're going to try and make a temp. No, the Holy Baptist comes in. Second, he needs to run, but he somehow gets out with a flicker. He turns and kills for no go. Team Hawk. Riskiest play. Oh. Patience is a virtue. In this case, now Team Hawk, they have to oh. make a run. And Lonely Hell, they walk in for the setup. He gets the kill, but he's taking so much damage. Janus can't see the finish wall, but he comes down to Maima to salvage the fight. They kill off Lonely Team Hawk, they're able to respond to this. Every pixel counts. The biggest catch of their careers. And now Janus, threatening Storm. But RSGMY, they have been pushed back. Now, Lord as a priority. Saken already here. Janus, nowhere to be found yet. They need to go in for the contest. Half HP. Benogo, he's walking in. He's going for the crash. Astro Echo comes in. Here he comes, Repo with the penalty zone. He catches one. Janus is so low. He needs to go in for the kill, but he's getting zoned by Ripple. Iris and Maima running for their dear lives. RSGMY with one play. They steal the Lord Pit away from Team Hawk. Is that crazy or what? Is that crazy or what? RSGMY trade one for one against Team Hawk prior to the Lord. They end up losing their marksman later down the line, but Team Hawk are unable to capitalize despite the fact they're a full man up. Right now, RSG having this Lord with them they need Rippo with them because I feel like if Rippo is not around, it makes it that much difficult for them to be, you know, winning any kind of fights, right? So RSG, just move with the Lord. At this point, just move with the Lord. Janice is trying to. Oh, here we go. Oh, comes Black Dragon, Zone of Mob, Real Manipulation connects on Tree. Iris doing a fantastic job Zone of Mob, but Repo is taking a little bit too much damage. The Snipes comes in, but here comes Repo. Does he go? Nope. Sakan doesn't want to go. Finally shows himself here, but a little bit too late. RGMY now, oh, Noir, Noir left all alone. He gets a three man stun, but that is going to be the mistake here. He thought his teammates are with him, and he's going to lose his life. 35 seconds on the sidelines here. Saken clearing the minions. RGMY, do they want to continue? Next Creeper Waves is going to be from the bottom lane, but Team Hawk, they can't play aggressive now. Correct me if I'm wrong here. Team Hawk wanted to bait RSGMY, and more importantly, they wanted to cancel their recall so that Janus could get a free inhibitor. What happened to that plan? Well, didn't exactly happen here. They panicked and backed off. Immortality comes in, Janus. Oh no! Okay, repo, repo. Let's go for the zone. They get the inhibitor. RLG and Y now. Spinning Pinnacle onto the wall. Real Bolivia comes in. Janus looking for the flank. Saken actually freaking forward there. The counterplay is so low. Calm down, bro. Most Be patient. Of, most of the damage onto Saken is from Saken. Mm -hmm. oh. That's crazy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yep, nobody else seems to be tickling them. Maybe it was like Janus versus Stoa, but then everybody hurts. Oh, I mean, like every single time Saken hits Benogo, the damage just bounced back, and then Saken's the one actually taking more damage than Sa uh, than Benogo himself. Ah, blade armor. That's the that's the big item difference here. And now he has to get the he has to go through two of them. So yeah, by the time he gets onto his second oh, target, he's maybe most that's gonna why. Die. Like he's hitting both Ripple and Benogo at the same time. Ah, <laughs> yeah, because it appears. And then and then both of them hit because I was like, no one's hitting Socket, but he's half HP. Yeah, he's just melting away. He's just hurting himself. Yeah, two blade armors. Oh, uh, that, that's got to be frustrating. That's got to be real frustrating for Socket. How do you how do you deal with a Moscow? Just stand still. 
<laughs> Let him do it himself. Well, in this case, Saken, he's going to be going for the fight. He's going to be potentially caught without Holy Baptist comes in. Janus getting a little bit too much damage here. A couple of pokes coming from the Leos, but Saken, again, he's getting poked away by Izanami every single time. Look at this. Just one, two HP, boom, he needs to back off. That is just so annoying. He's getting burnt out here, slowly but surely. Let's not forget about the glowing wand as well. This is uh, this is quite the situation to be in for the side of Team Hawk. It feels like a lot of these interactions really coming down to very small margins or whether or not Izanami is able to land uh, the Star Shatter in the first place, right? In the meantime... Oh, Echo comes in, drops the first kill on Maima, tickles him down pretty low, but at the same time, from the back lines, Janus is looking for the finish! Instant flicker from Izanami to go in for the reset. Janus can't seem to go for the finisher. Black Dragon being expended. They want to steal the Lord. Who's going to get it? Oh it's going to be Iris. What a steal. But they need to get out. The stun comes in. But where's the rest of his teammates here? There's no Spear of Destruction. While RSGMI will mow him down. Janus fights a kill on Lolios. He's so low. He needs to get out. But he cannot. Stone pins him to the wall. As Team Hawk, they may have gotten the Lord. But they lose so many members in this fight. I mean, at this point, they're just taking it just to survive, right? Because if RSG got that with four members still alive, it could have been GG, especially because the Lord would be marching up mid. But now they got to deal with the Lord. I have to see what happened that made it so that Venogo did not secure that. I yeah. I'm, I'm hoping he got stunned up. Maybe he got petrified. That's why he couldn't use the Retribution, because if that's not the case, I don't know, man. Yeah, that's... I. I, I'm more shocked that he didn't hit the the retribution in the first place, right? I'm more shocked. Sorry, not hit as it not used, but just didn't secure the neutral objective. So far, he's been going negative on these uh, on these oh, retry yeah. fights thus far, and I think it's it's really starting to cost them these these types of games, these long drawn out war of attrition. They might be 18 kills ahead of Team Hot, but they're only 800. Uh, sorry, 900 in terms of gold deficit. Did this? One point to back him up is it's a little bit difficult for junglers to secure when you don't have a roamer that has a lot of crowd control. You know, like, like those tanky roamers to push people away. Stone is there to heal. If he hits his holy baptism, then that's the only type of crowd control that can make sure that your jungler ensures to get the, uh, the objective. But this one is a bit difficult. Well, Astro Echo comes in. They will start things off on Venogo. They get the kill. Repo with the penalty zone not connecting on Janus. This is huge for Team Hawk. But the snipes from behind. They find Noir. What shot by Izanami? What was that shot? Izanami, the Prince of Mage. My god. Man, disappeared. Man disappeared so quick. But so far, no advantage. Like, despite these picks happening, Nothing is really happening for the side of Team Hawk or even for RSGMY. Like, these picks are pretty meaningless so far unless they're able to 2x, maybe even 3x. And even then, the gold doesn't really matter because they're already past the capped mark. Oh, right. boy. It's 21 minutes. Might not have noticed it, but it's going on to 21 minutes and 30 seconds. And Janice is having a difficult time here, right? 4-4-4, four, four, and four, um, kind of uninteractive here because even his Anami, he has a tough time trying to kill him. His Anami didn't die the first game. Did he die the second game? Maybe uh, he did. He didn't the previous game. Oh. Well, as a player, his... Oh, wait, wait. Storm didn't die as well. Yeah, Storm so... It wasn't his Anami. This is three games coming in and they have tried to kill his Anami time and time again, but... They this just boy can't find him. Yeah, this boy won't go down. I mean, like, they found him. He used the ult and everything. He's like, yo, bro, that's not enough. You're an assassin. I'm a mage. Don't yeah. you know that mages are tanky now? He instantly flickered out this wall, I think, uh, when when Janice trying to make a play here. Uh, but interesting enough, I think Husky brought up a very good point here. Noir has died 11 times now in this game. I mean, he's he's a free, susceptible target. It's not like Noir has a lot of escape mechanics. Even the Onward, a very, very short dash. It's not the longest in the world. Um, Wait, RSG, yeah, RSG, yeah, you gotta see this. This is so RG. okay. Okay, okay, okay. That, okay. Yeah, yeah, they saw it. They know, they know what's up. That's so risky. But uh, considering how purple buff on Janus once again, we haven't seen too much of Janus trying to make a play. Considering that every single time RGMY has something to stop him, and that's, I think, worrisome. Considering that he's such a mobile character. 
I mean, worrisome is one way of describing it. Oh, spear. Oh, oh wait. Spear. Oh, wait. They found stone. No. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. He's uh, He wants to steal the little wanderer instead, but okay. Risky plays. Team Hawk getting a little bit on edge here. Be patient, my friend. Be patient. I mean, there's patience, and then there is like, hey, man, you can push the side of the map. There's like three <laughs> different lanes to work with. You can pick top, maybe consider, you know, bottom. Top looking more economic for red side for Team Hawk. Bottom side. Oh, oh, oh. oh nope. Game for the play here. Not, not He's getting caught out. He needs to get out now. Fortunately for him, he's got the, the energy to back off. But with that play, seeing Tree Man down bottom, Team Hawk making quick work here on towards the lore. But look at this. The lore is so tanky. Sokka says, you know what? I'm not going to take the lore. I'm going to focus on Repo. Does he go down? Yes, he will. That's going to be first immortality. Real Minimish comes in on with no goal. Oh! Here comes the spear. It does connect. But do they want to commit to this? Iris now needs his help. He is going to get burned down here. As goes for the Black Dragon. Sokka looking for the kill. He can't oh! find Minogo. He can't. Oh! But it's a Nami with the snipes. Repo with the catch. What a shot. By RSGMI, what a shot by the Prince of Mage. And just like that, Sake goes down. Hawk, they've lost all their advantage. RSGMI, they're coming to crash in. They're looking to push forward. 5v4. Now, Echo comes in. Tier 3, Janus, they need to make a play. Maima taking so much damage. They need to clear the minutes for no go. Trying to stop the Fanny. Look at this, Janus, he can't do too much. Inhibitor will fall as well. Finally, at the Crystal Base, Real Womb Nation, they have to clear the minions. They have to do everything they can. But Repo! Again! Repo! This man, what a chat! They catch the two members, and they won't take Game 3. RSGMY, despite all odds, finds the way to close out the game. That's point lead in RSG MY's favor. Two to one in this best of five.